Who would I? Friday Night Flies. Friday Night Flies. Scotty Holmes and Big Bad Brad with no boulder tonight. Boulders, as we said earlier, is at his hunting course. He's actually doing a gun course. Or a gun course, is he? Yeah, he's, he wants to be a gunslinger. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a gunslinger these days, eh? <laughs> Even up in Canada, was a gunslinger. Yeah, yeah, everybody does. Everybody wants to be a gunslinger. So we got uh, question and answer open. Yeah, we got question and answer open tonight. So if you have any questions, if you'd like to know anything about what's going on in Pemberton, um, what Brad had for dinner, he was eating pork chops, so you don't even have to ask that question when I came in. Meat, man, meat and potatoes. Meat and potato, guys. Um, you want to hear anything about what's going on around here? What we're ask questions about how we're tying or what we're tying, or if you want to give us some suggestions about what we could tie, we'll, we'll even take that. That's fine. A any kind of question, hit us up. Yeah, we're bored as hell. <laughs> yeah, we we need something to liven the night up today. Uh, so to, on our next slide, we're we're gonna tie up a a beadhead nymph. Uh, I'm calling it uh, the spiky squirrel nymph. Because it's tied with Spiky Squirrel. And Just the way you held that up there was catching the light so good it looked like you were holding like something that was glowing. Oh, yeah? I couldn't even read nothing. Oh, okay. So I'll do that again. Hold the, the – you right there. Perfect. Spiky Squirrel. And this is in Natural Fox. 100%. Yeah, is what they call it. Natural Fox. This stuff is amazing. It, it's As far as I'm concerned right now, it's my favorite dubbing for, for tying nymphs. Uh, of all sorts, it comes in. Fourteen colors and it's from SLF. So if you haven't got any of this stuff, buy get some, it. get it, try it out. Tell us what you think of it. Because I, I, I retied all, all my flies this, uh, this spring and I, I tied them all with spiky squirrel. I tied my black ones, my olive ones my, and my tan ones all with the spiky squirrel. And it was amazing. The difference that on certain days, I mean, Obviously, you have your bad days still, but yeah, that they just seem to light it up. There's no question about that. Um, that being said, it's uh, again very simple. Fly. It's uh, we're gonna. I'll take it down. Okay. Go down. Okay. Go down. We're going down. Go down. Go down. Uh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So, this isn't exactly what we're gonna tie. This is again one from my box. It's a little bit beat up, um, but gives us the general representation. It shows the spikiness of the squirrel, um, and and. Uh, Little hot spot there for Brad on this one, on this particular one. Little red hot spot for you. Yeah. You got a hot spot, man. You got a hot spot. Um, and we got a tungsten bead. We got a we got a size twenty four fifty seven tungsten bead, or sorry, twenty four fifty seven Tiemco size ten hook. And we're gonna use the spiky squirrel, and we're gonna use some uni thread in. A dot because this is a, a, a fairly small nymph and we're going to use some ultra wire in gold oh. and generally speaking not always like I've, I'll tie this with different um, kinds of ribbing on it you could use a you could use a uh, a stretchy one like this one here you could use like stretchy floss too that works really nicely um, it's not as durable though the, the wire definitely keeps the fly together better there's no question about that so so there we go. So we'll get this out of there and we're going to get this back into the vise and, and get going. Oh. Still having troubles with my thumb. The weak guy. Can we there? Is that better? You all right, Brad? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. I just uh, take a look though, because I moved the I moved the vise. Yeah, no, it's looking good. Is it good? Okay. Yeah, it looks good. So there we go. We got the hook in the vise, and we're going to. Oh my God, no, not this. Well, hey, while we're doing this, I'm going to show people this nifty new website that we just built. No, the new Pemberton website. It's our Pemberton Fish Finder website. Yeah, it's awesome. You can get to everything so much faster. And I love your banner too. Your banner is awesome. It's a, it's like a, a quick blurb of all the nice fish from the last little while. Quickly, eh? Okay, so there we go. We got our and and I'm gonna say this right now. I'm not jinxing myself, but this thread is again, it's crappy thread. So if it breaks, it's not my fault. It's crappy thread. Okay, I'm just saying that right now. And hopefully that'll get me through without it breaking. 
Okay, cool. I just want to since prove I, it. Since I said that, we better show people what we're talking about. So there's the permanent fish finder. We just revamped it. You can see the big smiles on these people's faces. It's scrolling, interactive fully. As we're going down, you can see we got all the different things that we offer. Parent fish finder along with contact. If you want to call us, give us a call, book a tour. There's my lovely family and all these useful, useful little information information bits. And then on top of that, <clears throat> if you guys like fishing tips, you've got to check out our fishing reports. Now that's a beautiful Chinook salmon. Beautiful. We like big Chinook salmon. Yeah, doesn't get any nicer than that boy, yeah. And then all our up to date stuff. We got brook trout fishing. We just got a new video put out with the, uh, with what do they call those things? The drones. The drones. I really, drones. that's an awesome video, Brad. But the, I think the most important part is right here. Up here, let's highlight this section right at the very top here. That is all you need to know right there. So anyhow, let's get back to the show. Okay. So we got our beat on there. We got our thread tied on. We're going to tie on our wire. Um, as I said, I, it's a, it's a chrome or a gold bead, so I'm using gold wire. I'm going to just cut that off with my crappy scissors, not my good scissors. And I'm going to tie this basically down around the bend. So somewhere in there. Somewhere there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. There's a fine line and the if you take it down too far, it's gonna impede the catching of your fish getting away. Okay, so there we go. We got our rib we got a rib on there, just waiting to be ribbed up that that this spiky squirrel nymph, and we're gonna start dubbing you can tie a dubbing loop if you wanted if you wanted it to be even spikier um i find that you don't really need to it's pretty easy stuff to work with that spiky squirrel isn't it yeah it is you know it's what the hell do they call it spiky squirrel when it's fox well i don't know that it is i think it's called fox i don't, I don't know that it, it doesn't say it doesn't say what's actually in the package it just says a perfect combination of squirrel spikiness and slf brightness you're your nymphs will come alive. And it's from Wopsy. Hmm. So we're trying to build a taper as we go up. We want it to be pretty, very sparse near the bottom and then getting bigger as we go up the fly. Keep that taper going. Yeah, you got me on that one. And I was gonna give it a taste test, but I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd eat mouth it. Mouthful of spiky fur. Oh God. And then find out later it's rat or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> With that it's side. actually spiky rat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That wouldn't be good. Come down with the crud. Yeah, I don't. You don't see a lot of rat dubbing around, do you? <laughs> well, it's really abundant in the big cities. And I, you know what? I was reading an article the other day about how Vancouver's being overrun with rats. That, did you read that article? Uh, I did, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Who would have thought, eh? I hate rats oh good i don't they don't bug me like i'm not scared of them but i just don't like them yeah it's not something you want yeah. that and cockroaches you don't want cockroaches either or squirrels i don't like squirrels either. yeah they get in your attic they ah. the wires yeah and squirrels are like are like rats with tails tree rats tree rats yeah mm -hmm. big tails okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh wrap up our wire i'll do one wrap at the bottom Keep them a little bit tighter as you're going up. And I, I try to keep the spiky squirrels spiky as I'm going up, but I'm not super fussy about it. And it'll get a little bit bigger as they come to the top. That thing looks so dang buggy, man. Amazing. That's the thing, you know, like it represents a lot of insects, right? It oh, just yeah. anything that color represents nymphs. You could put a little bit of Put some legs on it and she could be a stone fly yeah you know? i was just gonna say it even with the spikiness it would resemble without even doing anything yeah and they just it has so much natural movement in the water it's crazy right 
all those little, you know, it, it kind of negates. You don't really even need to put legs on it. You don't need to do too no. much else, right? You know, put a thorax, put a collar on it, boom, you're done. That being said, I am going to sexy it up a little bit more. I'm going to give it that CDC. The CDC touch. That, uh, you know what the funny thing is, you're looking at that. That looks like a case caddis. You think so? Oh, yeah. Without the CDC, but with the CDC, it's just going to hold a little air. It's going to make it like a little air pocket. You don't want, I don't want these really long. Yeah, the old rock roller. Get rid of those. And, you know, I put the CDC on there just to show you that there's lots of variations. You know, I, you can put a bit of CDC on there. You could put your red collar on there. You could put a black collar on there. Um, I probably think that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of darkness on there. Sort of give it a little bit of shading, if you would. You know, a lot of times it's, it's these time flies is like painting a picture. You know, you're trying to. It's an artist's touch, it, man. You're trying to you know, represent something. You're not trying to make it look exactly like. You're just trying to represent something. Fish aren't the smartest of all animals in the world. Oh, I would disagree with you some days. Well, yeah, I'd have to disagree oh with my myself some Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Look at that. And like I said, you know, we could have done that in, we could have done that in multitude of colors. It could have been. A uh, black could be red, could be green, could be green, could be another color brown. Like a, you could use a, an ice dubbing on that. That would look good too. I've got a nymph that I tie with my, with ice dubbing on it too. Do a couple whip finishes, and as Brad said, you know it's going to represent a lot of different bugs. Um, it's a nice size hook. It's not too big. Just for interest's sake, I tie. My standard size for almost all my nymphs is a size 10. From there, I branch out. I do them in size 8, do size 6. I go 12, I go 14. But, I mean, my standard fishing box is five, five of the size 10, five of the in, – in, you know, four different colors. Boom. Ready Roll to go. Let's have a good look at that. Yeah, let's look at that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is dead sexy, brother. You don't like, and if you don't like the CDC, get rid of it. Just pull it off. It doesn't have to stay there, right? You're finding it's not not doing doing what you need, or it's not giving you the feel that you need. Then pull it out of there, right? Um, so there you have it, folks. Another another quick nymph. Uh, Let's take it upstairs. Guaranteed catch fish. This this is gonna catch you fish um, in all rivers, anywhere, any river, lakes anywhere. Man. Lakes, lakes and beyond, man. Seen yeah. Uh, again, it, it tends to be more one of my my river flies as opposed to a lake fly. Um, I, I do fish it in the lake for sure, and I have had success. But um, it, I, the whole action of the fly is really have for you those cross currents. Do you have any of the black in that spiky squirrel? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh, we got to try that next week. Okay, yeah, well, we'll tie we'll tie a black one next week. Black um, with a hot spot, man. But, and then with a red hot spot, yeah. Oh, oh, man. Man. Let's see if I got one of those. Well, I'm sure you've already tied that combination. You got it. Oh, well, there it is there. You do? You got a black little hotspot? It's... Hold on, I'll just go back down there. Go back down? The, ah, there it is. That thing has been chewed up, I can tell. Yeah. It's, it's been chewed up. It's been worked. Like, the, the, anything in the box has been already thrown. And I'll also tie that with a... We can tie that with a purple collar. You know, same sort of thing. This one's... Purple yeah, collar on nice. it. One of Merrick's favorites. He loves he loves purple, um, and that's tied with floss. That one is, it's, which is takes away from a little bit of the spikiness of the of the squirrel. But you know, nonetheless, they all work. You know, these okay. are these are bomber nymphs, and I don't I don't tie I don't tie uh, we don't tie when I'm in my in my box when I'm fishing. I don't have tons of flies. Um, I try to keep it pretty simple. And go with those go with those five nymphs. If I'm if I know something specific about the river that's requiring a certain kind of fly, for sure I'll bring that. But these are my go-to standard in the box flies. You gotta have you gotta have them. You gotta have them in size ten. You gotta have them in size twelve. And you gotta probably have them in size eight, representing different kind of things. And Definitely. anything below big below twelve, I I find it hard to deal with. I just 
getting a size 14 and a size 16 fly that's on like a, a european thing man don't that those really mini mini size small ones yeah here in bc man you don't need it you, you do not they don't order off the kids menu they, order, <laughs> they want like the big mac they want, they want the big mac they want yeah, to have their seasons the double big so mac they're, after a double big mac there oh yeah don't, totally no, yeah and with extra freaking secret sauce with know? extra secret sauce yeah so um again you know um there's a few secrets for you from the for the night you know uh brad and i are uh looking forward to maybe getting doing some fishing maybe have it's, it's supposed to get sunny for the next cool. four or five days so and it's raining for over a month straight yeah pretty and much I mean, a, close to a month yeah. yeah really really rain so i'm hoping that maybe get out do some river fishing on monday maybe catch a few coho swing a few flies oh god i'm in I mean, I'm supposed to go hunting, but right now all I can think about is fishing. All I want to do is I just want to get out on the river and, and swing a few flies. So I really do. It's been it's been uh, a while. I was hurt. Didn't really get. I, I tried fishing. I wasn't very good. So Are I sort of gave up. Two hander right now with your, your thumb. What's that? You're you're okay with the two hander now? Yeah, I mean it's everything still hurts. It still hurts, but it's yeah. I mean I'm getting better, and it's it's not. There's no scar. There's no cut. So I'm not worried about in infections or anything like that anymore so it's i can get back on the water and start enjoying myself and yeah we're gonna get back out there throw some throw some lures around and throw some flies around on uh on monday enjoy the sunny weather and uh yeah so friday night flies with big bad blab and scotty holmes and no boulder um he can watch it later yeah he, he'll watch it later um yeah get out do some fishing and We'll see you next week on Friday Night Fives because we will be here next week. We're going to drag Boulder in here, whether it takes, whether we have to drag him in by his. Yeah, he doesn't have much of a hair on his head. I, I was going to say hair, but we'll drag him in here no, nonetheless, and, and we'll be in here tying five. Or maybe we even get, we get Brad to tie us up another you know, jig fly. we get Benny in here, too. Oh, we'll try to get Benny in next week, too. Birkenhead yeah. Benny. I've Birkenhead been. Benny. He was, he was dressed up on Halloween as you. I know. Did you hear about that? I know, man. I got like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. I laughed my face off when I saw him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Friday Night Flies, Scotty Holmes, Big Bad Knowles. Next week, we'll see you here.